Hello and welcome back to another cast of game on the Age of Sumbros YouTube channel. I'm your host, Sir Shark Dad. Once again, casting solo here. Um, I've been let off the leash, as it were, left to channel the waters on my own and uh, cast alone here on this time. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. We got a special one for you. We have 3D Jacob, popular in the community, sporting the red as he should because he's playing good old Britain here on the left-hand side, and going up against Snub Kebab. Interesting. Playing Mexico on the right-hand side, playing the blue. And we're on Great Rift. So this one is just massive. A <laughs> um, lot of longer games on this map, honestly. Some of my worst long games have been on this map, so I don't have a favorable opinion simply because my experiences are pretty rough, but just t totally plenty in hunts, lots of work here on the sides in, in terms of hunts. Uh, coin mines then focus in the middle, some on the side as well. I mean, you have these interesting crossing points. You want to control this kind of interior peninsula here. These kind of teeth um, on either or side. Um, different crossing points. The training post is, is quite long, only two um, on either or side. So um, it, it kind of causes for some interesting play, really forces the players to stretch out. Um, and it's hard to kind of get your attacks in because it's so long to travel to the next base. So we'll see what happens on uh, Japan. Sorry, not Japan. <laughs> Britain versus Mexico is an interesting matchup. Let's take a look at the decks. Let's look at Mexico as if it matters. Okay, two villas, Hacienda, Cathedral Constructions. Pretty nice. Interesting, unique. Unique church. Plenty of wood, H2. We may see standard Mexico. Doubt it, but... Interesting. All right, well, we'll see what Mexico does. 3D Jacob, let's take a look. Ooh, Pioneers in a Brit deck. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. It's, you know, you have more Vils than anybody else in the early game especially, so why not Pioneers? Great. Well, you know, interesting. Royal Mint and Refrigeration. I think that's kind of interesting. Um, lots of gather rates later on. Um, no GMT in the deck. This is classic Brits. This is Virginia Company. I wonder if that's even going to be sent. 600 wood, 700 wood. We may get standard Brits with a little flavor. A little flavor going on. So we'll see what's going on. Nice. Going to go ahead and pick that up. 190 XP. Very good. Going up with Governor. Of course, standard. Taking a look. Um, okay. Okay. I'm curious as to exactly how that's going to play out, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, each side, so it looks like he's going to go plenty of wood. Could be gathering for houses or literally anything. Uh, maybe a church. Not entirely sure, but we are seeing a very aggressive hacienda forward. Um, so that could typically indicate a Baja, but you know, I've been wrong a million times about Mexico, so I'm not going to make any predictions here. 3D Jacob, we are seeing a VC. Oh, man. It's so exciting. I, I'm excited just because this is the kind of rare Britain that you just never see. So I, I'm a big fan of Britain. I play a lot of Britain. Um, but uh, I'm typically like a semi-FF into GMT kind of guy um, or just a straight FFFI kind of guy. So... Um, you know, I, I, I just don't get to see classic Brits anymore just because of the tempo thing and being stuck in H2 can be kind of scary, especially for unskilled players such as myself. So VC coming in, doing a VC boom. Very, very fun. I would like to see that play off, um, play off well for him. Um, hopefully lots of longbow if it is, um, if it does end up being Baja, California. So it may work out in his favor. Snub kebab. Really good macro here. Yeah. Guerretaro is so interesting. Haciendas, you know, and also the, the age fast. And you get the federal state twice. So he may end up going age three. Five settlers coming in. Barracks getting dropped down there. Inspiring flag as well. Boost the production. Ooh. British Explorer is going to probably not last long in this world here. Up against both the priest and the general. I wonder if he ended up. Oh, that's going down 3D Jacob now. Outpost is super close. Going 700 with this is so classic market now. Uh, 
if he's gonna send if he can send in pioneers and also get the longbow out if he does go baja very 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 fun line of sight being established getting those manners all around this is so good barracks now going down let's take a look at mexico side nothing in training going 700 wood into 700 coin and training salteador that is so funny to me I, I are we seeing standard mexico i don't know i'm very very curious 35 over 40 22 bills Britain 27. This is a full boom. You know, it, it, it's kind of, I guess it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough for Mexico because, because you know, they have, Britain has answers. Britain has answers. Unless you do some sort of kind of funky Rio Grande stuff, I guess, and you can kind of catch them out. But even then, like, Britain is just so good right now. Lots of really good tempo. Um, and they got answers for whatever you're doing. Um, as long as they're anticipating it. Um, I think that they... I think they have their work cut out for them, though. That you know they have to work hard to counter it, but they have the answers. Take a look. I'm gonna get 600 wood next. Yes, I'm loving it. It's just massing longbow. Now, see, here's another thing: is that I've been finding that Mexico can go pure insurgente, um, pure food eco. We're seeing a one resource meta now lately um, in some games. So insurgente. Um, just spamming those and just running them in and upgrading them as has has won people games. So I'm, I'm you know, very nervous about that. Um, if I was Britain, treat Chinaco, uh Steel traps coming in. This is going to be really good now. Training Chinaco. really rounded composition. He's going to have he's going to have Satredor. He's going to have Insurgente, and he's going to have uh, Chinaco. Um, all very good. Entendido. No se lo van a esperar kind of waiting not really poking and prodding these guys are they don't have a lot of hp now all 3d jacob has is oh, trying to pick off a fill all he does have is long bows which are absolutely going to counter everything else here um except i mean the insurgente are pretty weak but they can they'll close the gap pretty quickly Salteador, um not going to win that but chinaco will absolutely absolutely rip this comp down these guys have pretty decent siege 20 siege chinaco now gonna go ahead and get into the mix they're charging in but the vilpul did he send in the pioneers he has not but i'm sure they yeah these guys have their great coats on and we're doing a vilpul and he's gonna go ahead and scare off the chinaco the villagers are scaring away the cavalry they're not gonna be able to connect this is intense it's it's a very uneasy thing he did pop minutes Maybe a bit too early. Even more Chinako now being trained. Seeing the longbow composition only. More longbow. More musketeers now being shipped in. And now going Hussar, we are seeing a massive like economy already. And we are only eight minutes in. Incredible. I was going to see about 40 vils. 40 vils coming in for Britain versus 28. And so, again, we're just in it's a problem of time. He's... Even taking down these manor houses, it's not going to do much for him. Giving him a little bit of XP, but not much else. Giving Britain time. They're going to manor boom. They got the VC card in. He's going to have an economy that is absolutely staggering. And it does not matter what Mexico does. It's going to be scary. Look at this longbow mass. Absolutely terrifying. And even if he makes tons of Chinaco, he can just match it with a huge mass of musketeers. But, but these... Uh, these Chinaco are, are Lancer type units, so they will counter infantry. It's kind of a counter to counter. Sar seeing what they can do. Did take out a couple manners there, but he can just build them right back. Look how much wood he's floating right now. Massive amount. Plenty of wood. He can go ahead and start slapping down tons of infrastructure, maybe building out some more outposts, trying to take this map control. Love to see what 3D Jacob is going to end up doing. More musketeer being trained up. Sar being trained up. Might as well go ahead and go for age up if you can. Either side would benefit from it. Bit of a lull. What are you going to do? You know, you're you giving Britain a lot of time. It's 10 minutes in. They're going to probably be hitting 50 bills almost at this point. And 3D Jacob is almost at that point. Great Britain player. <laughs> great Britain, great Britain player. Nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, he controls the middle of the map. But it's not doing him much good yet because he has not need to push out. Um, but it is going to be good in a second here because Britain is just so food hungry. Uh, but his herding has been really good. He's got he's got quite a few herds in base. He's quite built down here to the south. He's going to last for a little bit. Oh, that was kind of cheeky. I don't know if you saw that, but he had a Salteador in stealth down here trying to scout this out. 
looking to try to connect here. The Chinako are, are twirling their lances, looking to looking for blood, but I mean, this mass is, is quite sizable, but it's going to come down to macro, micro a little bit here because you don't want to get those musketeers sniped by the Salteador. Lombo now going to go ahead and stand and fight. Minutemen are taking up some shots. Inserhente looking to connect, but the Sar kind of dancing around here. They do not want to get on top of those pikemen. Uh, but those Lombo are going to keep harassing. He's going to be losing some, losing some units to that. Full Hussar batch is now coming in. I wonder if he's going to get some... Some Hussar upgrades would be really nice. Even more Chinako now being trained on the part of Snub, uh, Snub Kebab. Snub Kebab. Uh, that's so hard to say. I apologize. Kind of scouting around, looking to kind of yeah. He's look at this using the using the stealth, trying to see if he can get an opening. Very smart, very good use of the mechanic. You don't really see that too often. Still controlling that center of the map, and, and with controlling that center of the map, you're controlling a lot of the hunts down here, and you're controlling a lot of the points right here. And this is going to be huge, Britain. In a, in a couple minutes, in the next five minutes, they're going to need control over these hunts. Salteador just kind of trying to see if he's going to move his villagers there to the north. Ooh, very tense. Extremely tense. He's going to see this. He's going to see these bills. He's going to move the Chinaco north, and he's going to be able to grab that, and his army's going to be left in the south. And that's going to be a decent-sized loss. That's five bills that he's easily going to pick up here. Very smart. Very, very smart on Snub Kebab. Very good. Cathedral Construction's now coming in. Britain now at 44. Compared to Mexico's 36, kind of... And I totally missed this. this. is a good raid going on here. Only two Hussar, though, and the Minutemen that are being called. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those guys back. Very good. So raid for raid. Ah, oh, man, this is getting kind of tense. It's Britain wants to take advantage of the economic edge that they have here, and they have not been able to do so. It's kind of, kind of frustrating going ahead and, ra and raiding again, kind of slowing down the economy, taking up time, taking up villager seconds. It's very good. It's gonna make these little things are gonna make the difference. But he needs to be able to connect. And the big thing here is is it's not this. It's not this that's giving him the issue. He's got plenty of longbowmen for that. It is the massive amount of Shinako that he's invested into. And these guys are not they're not cheap. So it's just a for an H2 fight here, that's a lot of cavalry you're floating, a lot of lancers. So, you know, you don't want to lose those, and that's giving him a hard time. Cathedral so aggressive being put forward. What is going on? Oh, this is exciting. I'm very curious to see that. He does not, and it looks like we're seeing a little bit of a fight break out. Inserhente are connecting on top of the Hussars, but he is going to lose those quite easily. Going to good, really good micro to pull those guys back. Chinako now kind of getting into the mix, but they're going to be unsupported. Oh, a few pikemen trying to get in there. But this is good. This is actually really good for 3D Jacob, just because he has been able to get a lot of shots off of the Longbowmen, and he looks like he does want to force this fight. And why not? Why shouldn't you? Hassar just taking in a lot of damage. He needs to be training more of these Hassar. I think he can kind of push this. More Chinako trying to get into the mix, but all he has is Chinako at this point. He's lost a lot of his infantry. Chinako trying to get in, but they're kind of getting stuck on the geometry of the Hacienda. This is a problematic fight. Ooh, Salteador are doing great work. If he can micro the longbows to stay on top of the Salteador, Hassar body blocking on top of the Chinako. Oh, it's a close fight. It's a close fight, folks. Musketeers getting into the melee. Getting stuck in. Even more musketeers coming into the melee. Chinako are getting thinned out, and it looks like the Hussar may finally break the line. They may break the line. If he can even get just two or three Hussar on top of these Salties, it'll be it. Even more Chinako getting in. Oh, can Britain exploit the breakthrough? Can they exploit the breakthrough? Double back-to-back -back coin shipment, 600 to 700. Even more musketeers, even more Hussar being trained. And it looks like it's about even, but Britain walks away kind of favorably. Maintaining that infantry mass, he was able to kind of stomp with this Chinako force. He was able to kind of stem the bleeding, but he's going to have to just be settled for kiting. He has a huge loss, 50 vils to 41. More Chinako being trained. Ten Inserhente and Renegade Navajo are coming in. But the thing with the Navajo... 
great for raiding, but probably not the best in terms of the scrap. Longbowmen being out here and great pull trick by 3D Jacob. Look at that. So pushing those forward, getting those pot shots in. And then, you know, Longbowman can't really kite, and so he's using the pull trick. Very nice micro on his part. Glad we were gay. We were able to see that. Snub kebab. Trying to remass here. He's got a solid economy, 42. He's, he's kind of avoided a lot of the raiding. He's got he's got a couple in Serhente here. Very smart. He's been really good with his units, honestly. Very, very good. Gonna take control of these herd these herds here on the side and have a little in Serhente to stop any sort of raids. Spoke too soon. Looks like uh, he had a little Salteador being stealthy right here. Phyllis were able to take that out. I'm still curious. Did he send pioneers? He has not. Oh, that's Salty that was here from forever ago. It looks like he's been found out. Looks like that herd has now been activated, and he's not in a position to really threaten those Vils. He's going to lose his general there. 3D Jacob looking really solid. Both of these players still content to stay in H2. However, Britain has a sizable advantage now in score. 54 to 44. I would I would highly encourage Mexico to probably look towards aging up. He has 700 food in this deck. I didn't realize that. It's so interesting, but he's running out of cards. Uh, he may go for fast age up here. And it looks like, and like I said, he was looking for the raid. He found it, but it looks like the Insurgente were here to pick up the, pick it up and, and to snare it. And that was really, really good. 3D Jacob's now going to have to split this apart. It looks like he's going to be able to maybe get some raids in here, this Hussar. But it looks like he's going to lose two Hussar. Very good job on Snub Kebab. Very smart. He does now see this this cathedral. Oh, a huge raid here in the south. He's responding with the raid for raid. Oh, and these Chinako are just absolutely deleting villagers. This is a huge loss for Jacob. That is going to bite. Absolutely. Now going down to 52. It, the vil count is about even up by the time this raid is finishing. I'm very curious what's going to happen with these Navajo. He's going to take out this cathedral, and it's a good find. But that's a huge loss in terms of vils. Hussar now up here in the north, even more in Sargente, just kind of following along, making sure that those raids don't happen. Very good job on Snow Kebab. Navajo are still just kind of sitting. I don't think he can see them. He cannot. He's just going to go ahead and walk away with his larger mass here. But the Navajo are going to be able to raid, and that's good. You're going to want to cull the herd, basically, of, of villagers that, that Britain has, the economic advantage. And look at this, what he's producing. So many longbowmen. Grenadiers now getting into the mix. And Hussar, but those Navajo have now been activated. Two Vils going down. And look at this. He looks like macroed four age up. And look, we're going to see that age up probably now come in. Look at that. San Luis Potosi. Very good. Hussar now looking, but they're not going to find it. That's rough. 49 to 48. Now taking the Vil lead. That is just huge. Oh, man. Really great raids on Snub Kebab. Really great on picking up the raids. But Jacob has just such a large, just a huge mass. And then if he can push when that H3 hits, that's going to be quite painful. And not a lot of cards here in H3, so he's probably going to want to have to revolt. But oh my gosh, this is it. He's going to force the big fight. Hussar upgrades may be coming in. This is a massive amount of bills. This is a massive amount of bills. There's Grenadiers in here in the mix. He's just going to go ahead and slam this in. It does not matter. And Sir Hente trying to stop the Hussars, but it's just going to be a flood, folks. I mean, these and these Chinakos are not going to be able to do much. There's too many longbowmen for these Salteadors to do anything. They're just going to get blown up. Navajo are going to be left. He's, he's going to be too busy microing this. I, I mean, send your longbow forward. How many? 20 bills. 20 bills, everybody, in this one outpost. This is it. He's going to need to try to delay this as long as he can. Try to distract. Maybe try to pick up a huge raid here with the Navajo if he can. He's got some... He's got Inserente in here. But, oh my god, there's the outpost going down. And can he pick up any of those bills? He's losing a few, but he's just going to have to... He's going to sacrifice his army for this to stop the bills from getting slaughtered, and he's going to lose way too much cavalry HP hit points coming in. Cavalry hit points coming in, and he's got both cavalry upgrades. These guys are 368 with 34 hand attack. I mean, they are nasty. Tons of ills going down. Britain now at 52, and Mexico down to 29, and he's got nothing to stop the Hussar. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
H3 coming in, but now he is down 5k score. Navajo now finally being tossed into the mix. And then Serhente are just kind of twisted in the wind up there, not doing much of anything. And he has got a mass. He's, he doesn't have a shit. He's... Okay, eight Chinako. I mean, he's, he does not have a shipment to really stop this. I mean, he's got... This is a huge mass that's coming in. He can take out this TC quite easily. Chinako trying to see if they can kind of distract things, and they're not going to be able to, and that's going to be the game called. My goodness, what a fantastic game. What a fantastic game. Oh, my goodness. Huge plays by Snub Kebab. You did fantastic. I mean, seeing a... Normal Mexico, just standard Mexico play. Staying in age two up against Britain and holding your own is tough. That is tough. Um, I think Britain is a really good civ against Mexico, and uh, for the most part. And that was just a tough game, and he played it well. Extremely great raids, really great using mechanically just those uh, abilities that you see in your units, using the Insurgente to block raids, using the Salteador for, for scouting, taking the center of the map, really pressuring Plenty of Chinako, really solid on the macro, really great Ville production, just awesome. And yet, 3D Jacob was just that, a little bit more. Really great standard age two Britain play, taking advantage of the economic advantage uh, of the manor houses and just producing a ton of units and just kind of forcing it in. Really great micro. Longbowmen were heroes in this game. Musketeers getting stuck in there and Hussar being able to do what they do and just kind of breaking through, body blocking for those units against the Chinaco that are anti-infantry and getting on top of the Salteador. Huge game. What a great back and forth. Uh, I mean, I can't compliment it enough. Um, that was just awesome to watch. Let's take a look at the post game. Yeah, I mean, 4K difference kind of tough you expect that especially the longer the game went but i mean for mexico holding your own that was really really good um most military units 164 units here really good stuff really really good stuff i'm kind of surprised to see 67 muskets to be the favorite but really efficient here um 164 to 150 and that just shows the micro difference and and maybe it's the insurgente being so weak um you know maybe that's kind of skewing the numbers here a bit but that's tough that's so tough to to kind of maintain when you have that kind of when when you have that kind of kill loss ratio. Taking a look at a villager count. Some big raids here. Really stemming here. This is huge. This is that this is that massive pickup from the Chinaco that we saw, but I mean losing that tower and just kind of it was just the weight of Britain. They hit that critical mass and were just able to force that fight. Really, really great stuff. Uh, military unit count here just really emulating each other right but then just that little bit more reaching that hundred mark and just is just too much eventually you just break um it just becomes way too much let's take a look at military unit population yeah and so you're gonna see that difference um with the chinaco especially um just a huge loss and unfortunately that h3 couldn't have come in at a at a less opportune time he didn't have much in h3 to get um and losing those resources for the age up and then forcing the fight it was it was just too much uh, much too much but either way i thought that was a great game really cool to see a standard mexico play really cool to see a classic h2 britain um, i'm feeling inspired as uh, as a brit main myself um, thank you so much 3d jacob for um you know this fantastic game we really appreciate it and snub kebab I, I thought you did fantastic great mexico play um, really commendable i thought that you just you were showing off a lot of really great talent there um, and so really really fun really 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 fun gameplay um, I thought this was, it, it was kind of interesting to see like um, the classic play being the more unique play, if that makes any sense. So really great game. Um, I'm just a privilege to cast this one. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, if you're enjoying my casting and our casting here at the Age of Sunbros channel and, and you're liking the games that we're putting out, please, 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 please feel free to subscribe. Uh, we're continuing to grow just past the 1K subscriber count. Very exciting. Um, we got some things planned for that as well for celebration. And, uh, you know, please leave a like on this video and comment letting us know what you think. Uh, and until then, we will see you in the next one.